welcome to edge intelligence meetup in this uh, uh, online uh, video youtube video we are going to discuss about visualization a neuron machine translation model and we can say mechanics of sequential sequence model with attentions so first i am going to tell about it like i am going to thanks to mr j almar for creating such kind of visualized blog and uh, now uh, here we are going to discuss uh, this uh, this already created that blog so in the, in this uh, video we are going to discuss like uh, uh, intuition about rnn and intuition uh, about uh, attention for the sequence sequence model so you you looking here the first like whatever animation is is there here in particular animation for example this is the sequence to sequence model and this is the se uh, sequence of any like a sequence of the like sentence a sequence of the characters is there particular time space so it's feeding to the network and we are getting a different sequence as a output so what is the, here input as a any sequence and we are getting different sequence for the example i'm taking the uh, like a language translation yeah machine translation key we have particular for example english to spanish translation so english input sequence is english and output se sequence is a Spanish. So this is the basic uh, intuition we discussed. Then other other ways, for example, this is the example. This is the one language sequence. If we didn't do the model, compile compiling happening and output will the different language like this is the English language. So this is the intuition of how sequence to sequence model work. Next we we are going to discuss like uh, basically how a machine translator will work. So in this example, like encoder decoder part, in encoder we are feeding the sequence to the encoder, and the encoder output, like as a con, we can say as a context, that context passed to the decoder, and decoder generate the output, the, the a different sequence. Another way, uh, another way, like another example, uh, uh, this visualization is there, uh, is there like uh, you're looking here? Is, this is the one se sequence, is a pass. To the this sequence and and it's passed to the decoder and they're getting the different output so what is the context here like a context is a vector we can say an array of the number yeah like that so context is a vector in the case of machine translation and encoder and the decoder tend to the both be recurrent neural network so both are like uh, encoder decoder are new recurrent neural network so here like context this is the context and context is the vector. So, the, so this is the basic uh, uh, f uh, concept about the sequence to sequence model and encoder decoder. Now we discuss about how neuron uh, that uh, a recurrent neural network will, will work here. So, in recurrent neural networks, you know the first is the input and second is that there are two input means uh, the previous hidden state input and the current input means whatever actual we have to feed the input and it will generate the different uh, different hidden, uh, the next hidden state and predict the output so you're looking here the process the processing like the previous hidden state current input is compute the new hidden state and we are getting the output here so this this is a basic uh, visualization of the recurrent neural network so in the, these step it will complete so uh, so this is a recurrent neural network in another way the example of recurrent neural network is the better way visualization for example so i am telling you like um, you will see here uh, it will complete in few step so the first step like uh, it will run again then first step like j j feed into the network first hidden state compute then next word in second instant compute then third instant compute then last hidden state we have to pass to the decoder and according to that hidden state the decoder rnn produce the output so this is the basic machine translation this is the basic uh, neural network yeah we can say a uh, recurrent neural network is here now in in different way uh, i can explain that uh, the how it will work you looking here that is the first hidden step, the second word hidden step, third hidden step, last hidden step passed to the decoder, then produce output, then next instant pass to the next decoder, 
next decoder next decoder and produce the output the a different way of the visualization is is there so this is the basic concept of rnn and the intuition about uh, uh, neural network so intuition about the recurrent neural network intuition about the sequence sequence model now we are going to discuss about the attention so what is attention here like uh, 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 if any the long sentence there and long dependency is there so uh, so we have to handle that uh, uh, context ki, uh, what whatever happening particular sentence so generally if you are using the plain neural network yeah yeah plain lstm whatever is there so that that will be unable to handle that context so here in attention it's pay attention to the context the whatever sentence context there it will pay the attention so how it pay attention so this is the uh, it will complete in the seven, seven step for example this is the example i will show example for example encoder first pass first is created hidden state second in hidden created then is pass third in state created and pass complete hidden state to the attention decoder and you plus complete hidden state and decoder both are giving the the better output whatever previous we are getting another example uh, we are going to discuss here ki this you know attention decoder rnn so what is attention here attention i am going to explain here ki what is attention here here we are getting the uh, three hidden state completely so this is the complete three hidden state is here and that hidden state we are scoring the hidden state the scoring we can uh, score we uh, uh, using the uh, uh, scoring uh, factor also dif uh, different way like we can use any uh, dense network or layer whatever so that that is the scoring is there then then it will pass to the softmax and we are getting the softmax score and then that, that softmax score multiply by the each hidden state and finally whatever hidden state we are getting after multiplication we we are and we calculate some of the all of the multi, uh, multiplied hidden state here you will you will see i will stop here so yeah 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 so you looking here the final is a sum of the weighted score so finally we uh, whatever multiply by each like whatever softmax score is there we multiply softmax score for each hidden state multiplication happen then we um, sum of all of weighted vectors so this is the sum so this is called final context vector that context vector used for uh, with a decoder to getting correct output so that and uh, the next animation will come here that will completely explain how the attention will work here so you know the uh, previously we discussed ki this is the decoder encoder part this is the de decoder part and this is the attention part right so what what happening here uh, yeah this attention coming correct what happening here in attention vector like first all of the attention will come then final attention vector produce here right attention vector produce here and and the this decoder part also will receive end end signal we can say like a end token so this is yani that attention decoder anand take in the embedding of the end token and it will initiate the decoder hidden state so this uh, decoder hidden state it will initiate and it will produce the hidden state for and that hidden state for and this attention vector that uh, concat both of uh, hidden state for and c4 in the one vector so finally we concat in the one vector and this will be the pass through a feed forwarding neural network and then it will finally generate output using the softmax so this will this is the process the how it process uh, i will uh, explain it again so uh, three of uh, hidden state we pass here and using three of the previously we discuss about this procedure we are getting the that context vector this context vector and it will also receive a embedding of like end token this this end token end token it will receive whenever end token is receive the decoder initiate the hidden state so it hidden state initiated and this end token will receive and as for hidden state generated that hidden state plus whatever attention con vector there so we concat like h4 and this c4 into a one vector and that one vector 
uh, uh, we pass this vector through a feed forward neural network and finally we are getting the output the second for it will for the first and it will for the first for the second purpose then again h5 hidden, hidden state generated and we head state generator and next token will come from here and uh, like uh, whatever uh, the input is first the second first input is coming here then it will produce the again uh, it will produce the output and that that context vector is there so i will play it so that context vector will come here uh, the you know the middle h2 and c5 generated it the we concat uh, h5 c5 then we are getting the output so this is uh, the basically attention mechanism work so so this is all about the uh, complete the visualization of uh, uh, neural machine translation like it's a mechanics of sequence to sequence model with attentions thanks for watching this video and uh, thanks for uh, yeah your support thank you